What's going on guys and welcome to my tutorial this afternoon. Uh, now if you don't already know, I'll be going over this so-called Gen Plus GX emulator or Sega Genesis emulator uh, for the Wii and how to get all your uh, box art for all your games working. Uh, now there are two ways in doing this. One is uh, by computer and the other is with the emulator itself. Uh, now this was brought to my attention recently, uh, it never crossed my mind whatsoever guys uh, when I actually did the tutorial uh, going over this particular emulator and how to install it. It should have been done then but like I said it never crossed my mind. So uh, I want to thank that person for bringing this to my attention. Uh, I finally figured out how it works and I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, so here it is. Let's just go, uh, get down to it guys and we'll hop over to the computer first and uh, show you how it's done. How about that? Alright guys, uh, so pretty much the first thing you need to make sure you do is install the Sega Genesis emulator. Uh, down, down in the description, for those of you who don't have this installed already, uh, there is a link uh, to a tutorial that I had did on how to install this particular emulator. So follow that first and then come back to this uh, tutorial here. Now for those of you who already have it installed, uh, we can continue on from this point. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, now there's a website here, guys, that I had downloaded some uh, box art or whatever. Uh, this is it right here. Uh, I'm dealing with the Sega Mega Drive here. Uh, but there's other quite a few other systems guys from Atari 7800 to Vectrix, you know, Famicom Disk System, NES or whatever. Uh, just, you know, take your pick, you know what I mean? But you can download uh, the standard standard spine, shrunken spine. Don't ask me what the difference is. I have not downloaded the shrunken spine yet, so I have no idea what that is. Um, but you can choose from Japan, USA, USA, USA hacks are unlicensed, and also Europe. I downloaded the Mega Drive USA. Um, I've already got it downloaded here, and we'll go ahead and go into it actually. And uh, the game that I wanted to deal with today was Double Dragon. Um, so let's go down to it. Ooh, I just passed it in. Should be right here somewhere. There it is, right there. All right, there's Double Dragon. I'll show you what the cover looks like. There's the cover there. Pretty cool. All right, well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna simply copy this right here out, and we'll go over to our SD card. That's where, every, that's where everything's gonna go, guys, SD card. And we're gonna be dealing with this folder called Snaps. Within that folder, there's quite a few other folders that correspond to different, I guess, what, you could say systems, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but this is the Mega CD folder. Sega Game Gear folder, Mega Drive folder, Sega Master System folder, and the SD-1000 folder. Alright, we're dealing with the Mega Drive, so all of my files that I'm dealing with today are going in this folder here. So we're going to open it up and paste that uh, JPG file in there, guys. But we're not done yet. Uh, we have to actually resize this, uh, this, folder, uh, this picture here. So right click, go to Edit. Go over to resize. Make sure you check off the pixels here and uncheck the maintain aspect ratio box. All right. The size we're going for is 320 by 224. And hit OK. And another thing, right now our our file is a JPG file. We needed a PNG file, so we're going to file here and we're going to go to save as. Bring this down right here. Save it as a PNG file. Alright? And just hit save. And we're good. We're good to go. Uh, now we have two files here, which one of them we do not need, and it's going to be the JPG file. So we can go ahead and delete that. Uh, another thing, guys, is uh, this, this file has to be named the exact same way as our game name. Alright? We're going to go over here. This is my hard drive. I'm going to go to the, into the G plus, Gen Plus folder. Go to ROMs. And uh, of course, I have mine uh, all categorized uh, in, in my own little special way uh, that's organized 
you know, this is the way I organize my stuff. So I go to Sega Complete, Complete number two. I'll go down to Double Dragon here. There it is right there. Let's see. As you can see, it's, it's already named the same exact way, guys. So this will work. Uh, now, if you had like, say, uh, none, you didn't have this U or this exclamation point here, uh, you, of course you would have to delete those here. Like I said, it has to be named the exact same way as your game, or your game has to be named the exact same way as your PNG file. All right. So that's that. We can hop on over to the Wii now, guys, and I'll show you uh, that it actually works, and I'll show you the other way we can also do that, okay? So let's hop on over to the Wii. Alright, guys, so let's just mosey on over to our uh, Gen Plus GX emulator, which is the Sega emulator for the uh, Wii. And we'll go ahead and boot it up. We'll go over to load game. Uh, now to bring up these options here, guys. Uh, now these options correspond to the folders that I had showed you earlier on the computer. Uh, you remember uh, when we went into the G plus, Gen Plus folder and then the Snaps folder, you had those uh, five different folders. It had the, what was it? The CD, DD, MD, MS, and the SG folder. Well, yeah, that's what these correspond with. So anything you have, Anytime you're dealing with this particular option, everything is going to go in that SG folder, okay? Uh, same with all the other ones. But uh, we're working with the Mega Drive right now, so I'm going to go ahead and go into it. I'm going to find Double Dragon real quick. Just show you that it works. You can consider this the... Uh, the first or second way of doing this uh, doesn't matter really but here it is right here guys this is our box art that we had resized and everything downloaded off the internet now you can actually download any picture you want from the internet guys any picture you want just make sure you resize it to 320 by 224 and you're good to go just make sure you uh, also copy it and, and paste it into the correct uh, folder uh, whether it be the game gear folder or the mega drive folder or whatever that's that now the second way or the first way uh, however you look at it let's go ahead and go into our double dragon all right so basically what we're going to be doing is just taking a screenshot that's all we're going to do guys okay so hit shot that's going to take a screenshot of your uh, title screen there what we're going to do we're going to go back to load game go back to mega drive and there's our screenshot there's our title screen right there this is probably the most easiest way to do this now if you find anything on the internet with uh, a, a packet with or like a raw uh, archive or something like that with a bunch of uh, different um, screenshots or whatever like that for this emulator just let me know man because you know th it's very time consuming I've got over like a thousand games here and uh, to go through it <laughs> I'm not going day in and day out going through every single game creating uh, th these uh, these box arts like this right here I'm not gonna do it uh, but you can do it with either one uh, let's go to shoot them up one of my favorite games is called dangerous seed so let's oops ah that is not a gen file guys this is a okay we're gonna hit Okay, so we hit the uh, home button on the Wii Remote to get to here. And we're going to do a screenshot real quick. Go back to load game. 
Mega Drive. And there it is right there, guys. Dangerous Seed. Cool, man. <clears throat> there was, a, there was a, another one. Let's see. Oh, Hellfire is good, too. Hellfire was a good one. There is a load of nice games on this system, guys, especially shoot 'em ups. Uh, this is my main reason I got the Sega right here, uh, is to play all these shoot 'em ups. I got them all organized and everything. Uh, but yeah. Take a screenshot, load game, Mega Drive, and there we go. Just like that, right there, guys. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out if you really wanted to find out how this works and uh, wanted to do a little something with this emulator. Here you go. Uh, I'm glad somebody brought it up. Like I said before, uh, this, this is really cool. So every game that I click on now to play, I, I will be end up making a, uh, um, a box art like this right here of the title screen. It's really cool. All right. So I'll let you all enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, rest of the day guys uh, it's really really rainy here in Georgia now it's, we got flood of flood warnings and all kinds of stuff right now but yeah I'll let you ha guys enjoy the rest of your day or night wherever you are and uh, this is Bobby signing off and I'll see y'all guys on the next tutorial or whatever have a good one